Hello folks, uh, I'm back down at Tinsley Park shooting club again. It's been a week since, well over a week since I got down there. And that's been down to the bad weather. We've, we've had a hurricane blow through, probably from America. And it's just been too windy. If you last remember, I've got the uh, Gamma Whisper IGT. Uh, and I chronographed it with about seven different pallets. So me, uh, my job today will be to zero it in at 20 yards and see what it's grouping like with the different pallets. Uh, the Bisley Magnums, the Webley VMX Pal, they were doing between 11 and 11 and a half foot pounds. So they're the only ones that could achieve 11 and a half foot pounds. Uh, all the rest were probably around between 10 and a half and 10.8 depending on the weight. Uh, so what I'll do now, I'll, uh, I'll carry on with the test and we'll see how the pallets perform accuracy wise. Now I don't shoot springers or gas rams that much, as you probably know, uh, but I did start off all the way back in the 70s with a springer. I used to have a relum tornado. Uh, and they do require a difference I mean, it's, it's proper shooting, it teaches how to shoot in the correct manner. Uh, a lot of them you need to use the artillery hold, uh, which is basically let the rifle recoil in your hand. If you try and grip onto it, it just won't work. So, uh, the odd part is getting used to the, uh, the hold, but once you've got that right, you need to be consistent with the hold. But uh, having said that, there's people out there that can shoot springers just as well as people can shoot pre-charged rifles. It's a matter of getting to know your rifle. Uh, so that's one of the things I've got to overcome today. Uh, but, and that's the reason why I'm, I'm doing it at 20 yards as well. It's, uh, it won't be as accurate at distance uh, as a pre-charge unless you really know your rifle. So without further ado, I'll get on with the test. Okay, I'm starting off with the uh, Falcon Accuracy Plus 7.33 grains. Uh, I had to find the point of zero first. It took some doing. The scope needed putting right down it was shooting really high off the target plate, but uh, I'm in the right ballpark now, so we'll go for it. When you load a, a, a springer that cocks like this or a gas ram that cocks, always hold on to the barrel. And that way, there's no chance of it flirting back and chopping your thumb off. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do like in the chronograph test, we do a 10 shot group. That way you get a good average of what the uh, rifle's uh, grouping like. <laughs> I 
anything else, I'll probably forget how many have shot. Like I say, it's getting used to the position and holding the rifle. It's got to be the same every time. Target up now. I'm going from lightest to heaviest. Uh, let's see what I'll do next. The right point first. Mm. Super food eight point four. So I'll start off with the air arms, and then we'll use the super. Uh, RWS Superfoods. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five within about an inch and two outside of it. That makes, well, seven, I thought I'd shot ten, but maybe I only did shoot seven. Less than gone through the same hole. I'll have to look at that one back. But that is an actual five pence piece size there. Okay, so put the next target up. Target up for the air arms. I've actually counted ten pellets out, so I know how many I'll be shooting. <coughs> Normally, air arms are used for pretty good, like JSBs. I'm not bothered where they're hitting on the target, I'm just trying to get groups because once you choose the pellet of choice, that's the time to group start zeroing in there. It's not too good, is it? Hey, how you doing? Alright. Trying to get this zeroed in. Brilliant. Hey, hey. Yeah, not bad. I'm trying to get on with this rifle. It's a gas ram, it shoots pretty harsh, but it's not uh, I'm too good at the moment. Just trying to find out the best palette for it. Chrono graph seven different palettes for it. You've chrono seven different ones? Yeah. And which one's coming out truest? Well, most power. Well, basically Magnum's 11 and a half. Uh, Webley VMX pal about the same. There was another one as well that was, weren't too bad. But all the rest are like 10 and a half. Right. Big difference, huh? Yeah. Which one's 
Which one's the lot? Yeah. What's your well, I've only, I've only fired two lots through it at the moment. Right. Uh, Falcon accuracy could seem to be doing better than the air arm. But it was four, four centigrade when I came out, and there was, was frost on my windows. There were five when we were driving. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> Alright, so that one, that's the air arms, and that didn't do very well, to be honest. Normally, air arms are okay. Do better. Hmm. I hit the plate, but I don't know if it was in the bullet or not. <laughs> I heard it white, but I can't see where it's gone. But it could be good things I'm hoping it is. This is quite a uh, good price pellet. Both uh, these two shots have been in a five pence piece, so I say that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. It shows you, doesn't it, what a difference a pallet makes. I've never been able to get in the good in a five piece. Five piece. That dropped off a bit. Complaining about it. Yeah. Can't bloody win, can you? <laughs> Can't win. <wait. laughs> Actually, if these shoot well, it's five ninety nine for a two. Oh, it's tight in the barrel, and that's a thing. That maybe that's why the uh, shooting quite powerful. I don't know. See what difference that will make on it. Tendency to shoot to the left. So that must be the way it's, it's spiraling out the barrel.
not good. I mean, now, where the lacquer's come off in places. On that bumper where you showed me the yeah. other day. Yeah. The caliper's painting red. Yeah. That, yeah, it would be nice though. <laughs> it looks nice, doesn't it? You're a proper boy racer, yeah. aren't you? And uh, mock polishes. Yeah, well, yeah. 400, um, what's it called? Bloody Batman, though. Okay, it's gold. Right. Look, and they're all middle-aged people blokes, like you know. Right. I like middle-aged blokes because they got a bit more pride, don't they? I might be able to read his writing, though. <laughs> it's not a doctor, boy. Doctor, isn't it? Can't write. I don't even know what they're doing. Yeah, that's true. Worst writers in the country. We're going to do every little bit of paint chipper, everything. I mean, I had to chip away. Let's go to use it. All chips away. Yeah, all over the country, aren't they? It's a chip with a little bit of paint. Finished up with a bubble of paint on each chip. What a wanker. Yeah, I, I won't be nothing with that. I'll flatten everything, but dear, oh dear. I've got, I've got one out to mine, I forget what. And I. Come home in the night and I refer straight into a concrete lamppost opposite me. <laughs> Just no dint in it whatsoever, but sort of paint off. Right. It's come the next day, I phoned him yeah, up, we could around, went on his computer. Well, that's a pretty tight group there. Very good. That was the uh, day state sovereign heavies. You back to this. <laughs> <laughs> you get them, don't you? Of course that, you do. That one turns out a good one. That's not a bad group, is it? No, yeah. that's all right. Well, it's gone that vertical. One? That's the uh, day state softening to light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although it's just, it's not a very tight fit in the barrel, this. Is. So that I think the power's about ten and a half. But like sometimes that. the because it's such a tight fit, yeah, it causes it to spiral. Yeah. There was that guy in America that did it, and he got a load of pellets, and they were all JSBs. But they were the different head sizes. Mm. And I don't I don't know if they come in different head sizes or not. Some do, but a lot they of them don't. Say don't. On that. Uh, it's done by uh, CZ, Czech Republic, so they're doing it at the JSB factory, aren't they? More than a lot. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. 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 Apart from the Sovereigns and the Kaisers. Yeah, Kaisers are H and N Germany, aren't they? Right. Well, what they do Part is business, only so. the JSBs have each press goes into its own box. Right. Whereas the sovereigns, they basically take them from all the presses and then they get put to the um, packing thing. That's why you don't get any any press numbers on it. Because right. it could be any press number. I didn't know that. Well, I, I didn't actually until uh, until the other day. So this will be the last one. These are a tight fit. These are the busy magnums, and these are these are doing eleven and a half foot um, average. It's 
Springer then. Springer uh, sprung. A gas ramp. Is it? A bit faster than a spring, a bit awkward. Are they still as old to go? Um, no, it's pretty good actually. Some of the F, uh, FAC ones would be ridiculous. Oh, well, this one is a nice powerful pallet through the barrel. But it is a tighter fit. It's even better than bought one, isn't it? The Springer. Yeah, it's good at an air arms it's got. Yeah. TF2 on it, isn't it? Yeah, with that stock on it that he's had made by. Um, yeah. Warren Edward. Yeah. Yes. Don't match, don't match your stock though, does it? It's a lighter colour. Yes. The uh, yeah, yeah. hamster. Yeah. It will fade over time, but it will take a little while. You want it? I won't do me. I'd have to do it straight away. It's got to be done straight away. Well, I did offer actually to. Did you? Start <coughs> yeah. For him. Um. Tell you what, I've been toying with Mark, and I know I, I, I'm not going to buy one. I, I, I wish I had it done. What's that? The uh, Commander. Oh, a Broke Up Commander, yeah. Yeah, fucking hell, that is a nice gun. But the TX 200, is it? Or oh, FX 200. Or is it? No, it didn't. It's, it's the FX. Streamline? No. Uh, There's a new one coming out called uh, Dreamland or something. Dreamland, that's This is a soup. It looks exactly like the. Uh, Oh, the compatible, not the compatible, it looks like a compatible mini. It looks like the Commander. Yeah, what's it called? Yeah. FX Compact, no. Uh, impact. Impact, that's impact, it. that's it, yeah. yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's about £500 more than Commander, it looks sane. Right. Yeah, what, what makes that so good is you can interchange all the barrels. That's and right. Now you can interchange yeah. the, the linings of the barrels. Some of them actually come with three different barrels. Yeah, Which one that I think one? it's four, that's it, the Impact. In right. fact, you can get it. You can get that on the. Uh, it's not called the Royal, is it? It's called something else. A bit Royalish. <laughs> get right. what the bloody yeah, name yeah. is. Yeah, but there's that. But you, you can change. You, you can change the barrels in, and you can change the lines in the barrels for different twist rates. And that, if you watch Matt Dubber, he's been uh, testing the the two two slugs that are made by this company. He's been testing for FX, and. It's fantastic in wind. It's only a 2.2, but it performs better than a 30 calibre. I think FX is the the premium one, though, isn't yeah. it? I, I think so. Yeah, I think uh, they're about 18, 1900 quid, aren't they? Mm. But there's one for sale on, uh, I think it's Gunstar, or Freyad, in the case, with two, two barrels, two, uh, two something else. Pellet, uh, tins of pellets and two uh, magazines, different, two different magazines, one seven seven and two two. Right. Twelve hundred quid. Right. Well, based on the performance of these busy magnums, the most powerful through the barrel, mm -hmm. slightly might have been most accurate as well. Um, it's a pretty tight group, it just needs zeroing into the ball, but uh, I've been with the groups, but they're, most of oh, them pellets are more or less in the same hole. This is beautiful at 25. The first five shots are slightly to the right, so I've just kicked it to the left, and every shot after that's all in the ball. Yeah. So, I mean, my little. I mean, but you're actually well known for being accurate. What's that uh, black thing in front of your target? Is that another target you've Don't made? shoot that one, you know what it is, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> you said that before, haven't you? <laughs> in fact, I think uh, when Robin nearly shot the bloody thing one day. What? The camera. Do they? He was almost going to shoot it, and then he realised what it was. Right, well, don't get Bob and Pip down in a weird hat back there. <laughs> right, and we'll see if it's accurate enough to hit your thing. Oh, it's shooting slightly to the left, isn't it? Wait a bit. To the uh, target end. That is the uh, Bisley Magnum. And the old 10 shots has gone in approximately a 5 pence piece. Just needs uh, re-zeroing to get it to the ball. 
The other one that did well was the uh, Day State Sovereigns, but this one is shooting between 10 point, uh, 11.5 and 11.8 foot pounds. So uh, I think from now on I'll use the Bisley Magnums for it because they seem to be doing well. As do the uh, Day State Sovereigns at 10.3 grains. So that's what I'll stick to. So I found the two pellets of choice for the Gamo Whisper. Brilliant. Uh, it's turned out a really nice day at the range. I'm down here with uh, Barry, Tom, and Steve. Now, Barry's got his uh, Ratworks BSA Ultra SE done by uh, Phil Crampton. And how's that shooting, Barry? Fantastic. Absolutely stunning. It's got a cheap scope on it and it, you can't bolt it. Just can't bolt it. That's the uh, the Chinese one, isn't it? Yeah. 624. Yeah. They are good skates for what they are. They yeah, are fantastic, mate. That one's a Magnum. That's grouped all right, isn't it? Yeah, that's not bad actually at all. That's, yeah, that's nice, that is. Yeah, yeah definitely that. Most powerful, most accurate looking at that. Yeah. Yeah. Although, I'd say the uh, sovereigns are probably tighter, to be honest. Just vertical, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's just vertical. Yeah. Yeah. Which is so easy on your magnification to just be slightly out on your, yeah. on your crosshairs. That, that's that's what that is. I, I mean, I could get that shooting really well, getting used to it. I've not really shot it much. That's the problem, isn't it? It's yeah. Getting, once you get used to it, you've got to get yeah. the feel of them. So it's the uh, being a gas ram and everything. Yeah. But Steve's got his uh, his V Rack 100, right? and they they shoot brilliant, don't they? Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised you got rid of yours, Barry. What's that, mate? Your V Rack. Buy rack, whatever they're called, no, way racks. <laughs> Germans. Not fucking speak proper English, can they? Yeah, no, I think. Well, I think it. Because it. you've got no yeah or, horizontal and it's just that's vertical. It. That's the kick in it. That, that's yeah. So that would be the, that is the tightest group. Definitely. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, wow. uh, I know what pellets to put through the barrel now. And that's Tom's. Uh, is that a Mark One or a two? Uh, it's Mark One, isn't it? It's got not got the regular age in that. Oh, has it? No. Because that'd have another uh, gauge. another gauge on it. But the Compatos are lovely anyway. Yeah, aren't I like it. No, it's, it's a yeah. Nice, it's a nice gun. Yeah, they are nice. He's only got a cheap scope on it, but he, he's happy with that. I offered to put him a good... A what, are you, what are you getting shot-wise out of them? They're supposed to be close to 500 shots in T2, aren't they? He hardly ever fills it up. Even in the unregulated one, I bet you're getting 400. I think yeah. it up once a week, if that. Yeah. And three, four days shooting at them. That's what makes them so good. See, you don't even need an air tank. If you've got a rifle like that that's shooting a tin of pellets before you refill, you can just go to walkers and they'll top it up. Of course you can, yeah. But saying that, somebody said that they haven't got their uh, compressor anymore the other day. Haven't they? Well, that's what I was told the other day. Who was it that said that? Was it Phil Sharp? What? Said that walkers haven't got the compressor anymore. Or was it Bob? Bob and Pip. Yeah, Bob is busy, Bob made. Right. Bob and Pip, No, they, they're good, they are. Yeah, massive difference as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's uh, just a little bit. Joe died, got the big compressor working. Yeah, that's working now. I went down the other week and they did it for me. Yeah. 